control. This is over the one. We have a green light to go. We're just... We're just about to hit the road. We made it, we made it. on the road. Portland. Portland. We're heading to Cali. California. That's right, California. We're gonna paint and paint and paint. If we can get there. Yeah. Ever. It's day two. We're in Wairica, California. Stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. We are officially in California now after a long day of driving yesterday. Heading to LBC, baby, the home of Snoop Dogg. <laughs> long Beach. Snoop, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, Snoop. It's the you only live once bus. YOLO. I'm surprised they're not driving super crazy, you know? YOLO, YOLO, baby. We're just pulling up into Long Beach. This is the wall right here. This whole wall. Dang. It's fucking huge. I don't think it's 165 feet. It's, it's gonna... big. Looks like we made it! Such a dope walk! Are you so excited? Give me a happy dance! <laughs> now we that's an excited this, man! Look at how beautiful this wall is, it's so dope. We're at this little mom and pop hardware store. Uh, home home Depot, Depot. Never heard of it. Uh, just a small little local. Hey, how'd they get your house here? Paint. It's paint. Barbecue. Oh wait, Paradise Landscape looks way more poppin' than Thai tea. Oh yeah. Wait. Tropics? Paradise Landscape. I think this is more the color yeah. of, the, of the actual spray paint. Yeah, Diva Glam, Tropics, and Emergency Zone. Looks good. <laughs> looks now like... I need a dark gray. Let us begin. As I paint in these boxes. Oh! Sombrero. Okay, now from the beginning. Looking for like a throwaway color to sketch with. Got the first character on its way. Chelsea, my wife, has been assisting me. The community has been feeding me. They've been sheltering me. It's been like such an amazing experience. <laughs> Thank you, Long Beach. Thank you, Bixby Knowles. Feeling good about the progress of today. Almost done with the first character in just one day, which is pretty cool. Got a lot, got six more to go. So, yeah, it's just been uh, getting back into the spray paint vibe. I use brush paint so much. So it's like working out a different medium, a different flow. After that last mural where I was working in that hallway, it's really nice to be able to step back like probably a football field's length to get perspective. Ah, so necessary. Got my friend uh, Artie, who I just met on Instagram. He hit me up and said, hey, you need some help? So he's assisting me. I got me a helper. Just, uh... Off the Instagram. You can't, you can't shoot the beard. The beard's under copyright. I got a contract with the Dollar Beard Club. Yeah. Dollar Beard Club? Yeah, I was in one of their commercials. Were you? Yeah. Awesome. There was a bear on site. That's sick. There was a, a small person, two small people, a horse, and what else? Some wizard guy. Um, so yeah, that's the end of day one. Well, day two, I guess, but the first one doesn't count. This is day one painting. And feeling good. Probably gonna go get some food. And just enjoy beautiful Southern California. <laughs> so much better weather than what I left in Seattle. So, yeah, that's today. Boom. My name is Blair Cohn, the executive director of the Bixby Knowles Business Improvement Association. I found Ten Hun on Instagram. 
And I said, well, you know what? We want to challenge ourselves. Can we get another artist to come from out of town and leave his mark here? So the challenge was on and I hounded the artist. I kept saying, come to Long Beach, come to Long Beach, come to Long Beach, we'll take care of you. And we finally worked out the schedule and now we have um, a mural that is dazzling the entire neighborhood. Well, the first time I saw the 10 hundred art pieces with the colors, it was the colors and it was the actual characters. That's what jumped out right away. Public art transforms the community. It gives reason for pause. It gives neighborhood pride. It beautifies. It gets people to engage and talk about it. And um, we here try to include the arts in just about everything we do. Best helper in the world. You look like I'm at camp. I just don't want my neck to burn off. It's hot out here. I know, it's really hot. The car said it was 75 degrees. I think that's oh, bullshit. That's a bunch of haka too. Let's ask the weather app. Um, speaking of that, you should put some sunscreen on your arms because you look great. I did. I reapplied recently. Oh. For real? It says it's 74. That does not seem right. This is my first time having a merch table at a mural. Figured why not? It's the start of a new day. One and a half characters done, I believe. So, just gonna paint. My name is Pierre from Long Beach. I gotta give a shout out to the artist, Tin Hunt. What I think of the art is just amazing. I think it adds culture, it adds color, vibrancy to our neighborhood. I notice like, it's different identities in each character. Uh, especially the first one on the far left, I see like multiple identities and either one could be one that's on the inside of us, like who we truly are, versus the outer layer, which is the identity we show, we present to everybody. And I also notice um, that all the, most of the eyes have hearts. So it's like we're seeing this world through love. All right, today we start on Shark Boy. Finish two characters. One, two, three, four, five to go. I uh, got about 10 days. So that's like two days per character. I've been working faster than that. So hopefully the, the time is gonna be okay. Went on a couple paint runs this morning, Home Depot and some art supply store. That sent me back about 400 bucks just for some random paints but gotta get some more oranges, basically. I use too much orange is the moral of the story. It's kind of overcast right now. I'm sure this will burn off. That's kind of been the pattern so far. Cloudy in the morning. It's crazy sunny in the early afternoon through to the evening. So I'm just blazing through sunscreen. I'm blazing through sunscreen as fast as I'm blazing through the color orange. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna, me and wifey are gonna hit this up. She's unloading the paint right now. That's her. And yeah. We're here at Steelcraft, selling our wares. Selling our, our underwears. Relaxing from the mural. And it's just nice to just not be painting right now, so come buy a t-shirt. Saturday, and we're at the mural site. Finished up Shark Boy yesterday. This big orange crazy monstrosity. Went through a lot of cans of orange paint. Working on this lovely young lady in the yellow hood. Her name is Fauna Moon, and she'll be able to finish her up today. And then moving on to the alchemist, who is right over there. It's overcast, so I start the day out in the hoodie and end it in a t-shirt and a big sombrero sun hat, which is like the best mural supply. If you're ever painting in warm weather or sunny weather, the number one mural supply is a big sun hat. It's, it's the only way to go, honestly. I don't know how I ever did it without one. Um, yeah, I'm making good pace. I feel like 
I'm gonna have plenty of time to finish it, but that doesn't mean I can slow down or get lazy. So I'm gonna get painting. I think it's gonna be a good day. The parking lot's way more empty because there's not a lot of business going on. It's the weekend. Everybody's freaking on the weekend. <laughs> uh, Pow Wow is starting tomorrow. I'm super happy to be in town for that. Everybody thinks that this mural is for Long Beach Pow Wow, but it's not, but I'll still like kind of take the credit. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, I'm feeling good, well rested and ready to paint. I'm Martin Howard, I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm a commercial general contractor that specializes in doing work in the hospitality realm, hotels, restaurants, theaters, things like that. I'm also a commercial real estate developer. This is a tremendous opportunity for us to have 10 hundred here leaving their message on the wall for everyone here in the community to share. This is a very art-centric community, whether the art is something like what you see here today, or whether it's music, or whether it's other forms of art, dance, theater, those kinds of things. Well, I mean, I think, you know, from a very basic standpoint, is what's so interesting about a blank wall? and there's a lot of blank walls in our community. And I think if you think in an, in a, in an art frame of mind, they really become canvases to express what the community's interested about. It, it shows that, that we embrace people expressing themselves and that we embrace art and we're a community that's open to lots of different ways to celebrate those things. Um, I'd just like to say thank you um, to 10 hundred and, and the team um, for honoring us by coming here um, to our community and bringing this vision to us and creating this you know cliche word masterpiece for us um, to have and to cherish and, and to enjoy for generations so thank you to 10 hundred and the entire team you're very welcome thank yeah. you man you're welcome that was great Second to last day. I'm talking to, I'm talking to the wind. Oh man, definitely feeling it. Definitely ready to be done with this one. Super hyped on it. Super hyped on how it's turning out. It'll be Wednesday tomorrow and we leave on Saturday, which gives us three days to enjoy Pow Wow Mural Festival here in Long Beach. Pow Wow is like all the dopest artists from all over the world coming to a city and just like doing a bunch of really cool mural work. There's one in Hawaii, I think that was the first one. There's one in Taiwan, Japan, Korea, Long Beach, and it just so happens that I am in town painting at the same time as Pow Wow which is like super magical because I'm a fan. I've always wanted to be a part of Pow Wow. I'm not a part of Pow Wow right now. This mural is like something separate. The city of uh, Bixby Knowles brought me down to do it. But it's really cool to be a part of this art community that's popping off super hard right now. So I'm just so honored to be here. Huge thank you to Art Primo for hooking it up on the paint. Check them out if you want some really dope supplies. Thank you to Artie, a local dude from Long Beach who just was like, yo, need some help and just started freaking showing up and helping me paint. That's super cool. It's like, this is the type of community that I'm in right now. I think I'm done. <laughs> You're looking at one happy dude. What a big wall. What an awesome project. Thank you Bixby Knowles Business Association. Thank you Steelcraft. Thank you Art Primo Seattle. Thank you to everyone who came up and encouraged me as I was painting and gave me just words of encouragement and made me want to keep, just keep painting and keep making this art for this community because this is a cool place. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. Like the video, leave a comment, subscribe if you'd be so kind. If you're not already, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, 
click the subscribe button and like follow along with my art adventures. I just started a Patreon if you want to like support my channel and just you know throw a couple bucks at me a month or something like that. That would help me keep doing what I love to do and making videos to share with you. I'm feeling like so god happy right now. Big wall in Southern California, definitely an art dream. I remember five years ago thinking like what if one day I could have my art in like the LA area and now this is my second mural down here. I don't know just do what you love and follow your passion and even if it's not something that you make money off of like find time to do what you love. Find time to do what you're passionate about because you don't have to be crazy like me and do this like all the time and do this to like pay your rent and to survive. But if you find some time to do what you love, it'll just make you a better, happier, healthier person. So I hope you guys are getting that message from my videos because that's what it's really all about. Yeah, thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one, which hopefully should be soon. Maybe. <laughs> Peace.